milk. All you'd have to say to even quite a young child is, please fetch me some milk. Give them the right change, and sooner or later you'd get your milk. But if you had to get a computer to run errands for you, it would be a different story. Unlike the little boy, it wouldn't know where to find milk. So first of all, you'd have to tell it to go to the nearest corner store. But of course, it wouldn't know what to do when it got there. So then you'd have to tell it to look for the milk in order to be able to answer the question, is there any milk in the store? But even if the answer were yes, the computer still wouldn't know what to do next. You would have to tell it to buy some of this milk and bring it home. And if the answer to the question, is there any milk in the store, were no, you'd have to tell the computer to go to another store and look for the milk in order to answer the question, is there any milk in the store? If yes, buy some and bring it home. If no, go to another store, etc., etc. If there happened to be a shortage of milk in your neighborhood, the computer could find itself caught in an endless loop, going from store to store ad infinitum. This is the first basic operation performed by a computer program, repetition. And here is the second basic operation performed by a computer program. Yes, no decision. The inner workings of all computer programs, however complicated they may appear on the surface, are all variations on these two basic themes, repetition and decision.